Hello, my people. My name na Mabel. Today I say make I carry to Rikongi, my people. Because this to we this news, it don't scatter my brains, my brothers and sisters. So if today na the first time when you they come to my channel, I beg not forget to subscribe and not forget to press that notification bell. My brother and my sisters, this story eh. This man, when you they see so, 30 something years old man go rape six years old Pekin. Ah, ah, that one too much. Eh? So now, two stories now they bring come give you now this very, very day. So, this very afternoon, another one day, oh, when we say the woman carried the lady, the young girl was uh, uh, pregnant. For a man that say he don't want the picking. Now the mama and the papa for sure and come up for house. Say uh, she must go meet her husband. And her husband rejects the pregnancy. Oh. So now he this girl now talks, say she alone no go fit take care of that picking. Say uh, may she go look for help. On her process now of looking for help. Now so she tell me this man when still say may she born the picking. Say you go sell her. Say this man too in the uh, uh, buy children. Ah, now everything that they see for our country Nigeria. I beg, make I leave una mona watch this video by on herself. Mona leave comments on the comment section. Wait till now think about this thing now. We be say we they hear about our country. Now only our country we go hear say uh, a matured man rape six years old Peking. Our country we go hear say. Picking that they sell them, I beg. This matter don't tire me, my brothers and sisters. I beg, more could not talk, put for this matter. Oh, more than watch this video as they play. So, I say that I have a sex with a girl of six years. That's the reason why they brought me in here. Why did you do it? I didn't know what came over me because I've been going to the house to visit their mom and their father every day. They take me as their brother and I take them like, like as my sister and my brother. So I don't know what came over me. I traveled and I came back on Sunday. I came back, so my sister told me that, that the wife came and looked for me, that, that, that she has been a long time, that she has not been seeing me. I say, okay, when I come back from work, I'll go and search on her. So after I come back from work, on Sunday 20 feet, on Sunday 20 feet, on Sunday 20 feet, so now when they to check on the to check on the mother. So when I went there to check the mother, so I only saw the children outside and all the, all the children, they embraced me, they greet me around tell them, okay, where is your mom? They said that my mom, she's not around. I said, okay, maybe, me, and I asked them, will she come back fast? They say yes. So now I carry her outside. I sit down outside with them. I was playing with them. I, I, I was playing with the, all of them, the outside. Even that daddy and everybody was with me, I was playing with them. So I saw the little girl came over me and now I have a sex with that girl. No, 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 that's that's the first time. Man. How I know happiness is from the man that took me to go and stay with happiness. What's the man's name? What does he do? The man, actually, I know him like um, somewhere, but the man is a pastor and he's a stammer. I don't know. He's, he doesn't have church, but he has fellowship. But I've not went there before. I met him, the man come to where I was working with one fair lady. So the man now asked me, who is the father of my child? I told the man everything. The man tell me that there is a place that she wanted me to go and stay. I told the man where. The man now tell me, don't worry, when the time reach that I will tell, that is going to tell me, we now exchange number. One morning, I woke up, the man called me, where am I? I told the man that I'm on my way to my workplace. He now told me, can you come to so-so so place? Let's go and meet the girl before your madam comes. I said, okay. Yes, we now come. He now took me there. Why oh, I, I choose to do it is because of the condition. There was no one for me to stay with, and there was no one to help me out. I don't have parents. My mom threw me out of the house. He said, let me go and bring the someone that pregnanted me, and the person denied it. And I cannot find my way, so I don't have any option. Actually, the man told me I should do it at eight months. I told the man, eight months, will my baby survive? He told me that there is a place that they are going to put it. 
till the baby survive, then they will give me the money. I cannot hide anything. I went and got and told my friend. My friend said, no. Mr. Allah, let me burn it at nine months one time and sell it out. I don't feel happy because I passed through pains for four days before I put to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Please, they should not do it. It's not good. <laughs> they should not sell babies. It's not good. And they should know the kind of men that they meet. <laughs> um, today, we are uh, presenting uh, two cases. Uh, one of violation of a minor and the other one has to do with baby factory or center. The violator is Moses Asuko, who violated a six-year-old girl, and we have uh, taken his statements, we have interviewed him. Of course, he has made useful confessional statements. That case will be duly prosecuted in accordance with the law. The other uh, case of child harvesting and baby factory is being run by a proprietress, Happiness Edit, who is doing that in conjunction with her husband. And of course, the victims in this instance are Deborah and Blessings. Uh, one just put to bed two days ago, and the other one is still pregnant. And of course, they have arranged from uh, the briefing, we discovered that they are going to sell those babies to some people. So the location of the place is still under monitoring. We don't want to reveal that now for purpose of uh, not endangering the investigations. The proprietress is here with us. We have the proprietress there. So she's here with us. We are still after the rest of them. They uh, keep them in uh, their flat and they um, raise them like chickens, of course, to sell the babies. They should ensure that we promote decent African culture. Moral decadence is promoting this kind of ventures. And of course, the society, the religious establishment, must of course take a stand and assist in addressing this problem. Government also have very critical role to play. NGOs, CBOs must also promote good culture and ensure that uh, teenagers are not misguided or not misled. And of course, those youngsters also involved also share part of the blame because the idea of get quick syndrome is also manifesting because consciously they are not underage people. They sometimes are conspirators in this game, but then some of them are actually misguided anyway. So we enjoin the good people of Cross River State to ensure that they safeguard and protect their children. So my people, my people, now don't see the video, Abi. So that particular man now won't I just see just now. Now he raped six years old Peking. How could you have done such a, a, a abominable stuff? Very, very much abominable. Abomination, I that they call now. There are many BB girls out there. Why is six years old? The thing tire me, oh. Wonder shall never end, oh. So make I talk that the story about that woman, that young lady, maybe say, the man, say make he sell in Peking. Now my advice is going to our mothers. Eh? It is your role, it is your responsibility to accept your daughter's mistake. She made the mistake the deed was done. Then the, the, you have to accept your own daughter's mistake. You have to bring her come inside the house. Okay, now you push her out. The mama and the papa abandon the daughter. Now, finally, finally, she don't enter into the wrong hands. I beg my mothers. Moku will try to the accept. After you don't quarrel, they say you go use uh, one hand, take bit picking. You go use the second hand, take draw her, come back. Now, so it be. Who would they forgive our children? We be mother. We should have the heart of forgiveness. We should be praying for our children. We should not abandon them because of their mistake. Mistakes can be made at any time and by anybody. All right? So this one, I, me, I say, make I carry on giving now. From today, henceforth, we're not going to expect this kind of uh, Tory 
from Meliab. Thank you so much. Share with your friends. Bye-bye.